What's up, boys? Taking a look at some more MLB player props today over on Prize Picks. Yesterday was a great day over on the Patreon, six and two. So we've been really, really good this month. Have not yet has a, had a losing day this month. So we've done very, very good. A lot of 75% hit rates. Had a day with an 83% hit rate, and yesterday 75% at six and two. So if you guys are interested in joining, the link is in my description. It's less than like 40 cents a day if you guys are interested in joining. But otherwise, I have two plays for you guys here that I am liking today, but I've had those plays up on the Patreon. I usually try to get them out an hour before I end up uh, making these videos. But anyways, let's take a look here. If you guys are on prize picks, though, you guys are missing out for sure. Right now, we have a Jason Tatum free square. He's at half a point. Go ahead and hop on prize picks using my code DOMG. You guys seriously will not regret it. There's also tons of different props for MLB here. So I've been pairing them with some of these MLB plays uh, from this video, actually. So uh, that's what I'm pairing with my Jason Tatum with. But uh, anyways... We're going to go and take a look at some of these player props here, but like they have a ton of different prop categories on the board right here. Not even all of them are up right now. There's going to end up being like first hitting hits allowed. There's going to be um, earned runs allowed, all that different stuff. Hits allowed by pitcher, all the different stuff on this price fix board. So definitely go ahead and join again using my code DOMG. So definitely sign up uh, available in most states and most of Canada. So, but uh, yeah, Patreon link is down below and the uh, price fix link is down below. If you guys are interested in joining either of those. So, Highly recommend joining the uh, the uh, prize picks. So, anyways, let's hop in though and talk about these two player props here. So, early morning upload today, I think. I usually I usually get these videos out around like 1 p.m., but I'm doing this at like 9:30 today. I don't really know why, but Zach Eflin here. I like over four and a half strikeouts is going to be the first prop for me here. So I like Zach Eflin over four and a half strikeouts here against the Milwaukee Brewers today. Actually, I forgot to recap yesterday, but uh, even though the Patreon went six and two. Merrill Kelly screwed us over on the video, so we went one and one yesterday. We got caught on the hook. Uh, just for some reason, Cincinnati, they, Tommy, I think it was Tommy Pham, and, uh, and like their guy batting eighth in the lineup, I don't remember who it was, struck out twice a piece. So that kind of sucked, but one and one yesterday in the video. But, uh, anyways, so if you take more of a look into Zach Eflin here, you would find out that he is a minus 112 to go over five and a half strikeouts. So, value on prize picks, there's always, always, always value on the board on prize picks like 99 percent of the time so and this is value right here so five and a half on other sites he's four and a half on prize picks that is a huge 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 uh spot right here so eight out of the last 10 starting pitchers to face milwaukee have gone over this and they also rank 16th in k percentage versus right-handed pitchers so we will be on the road against milwaukee here they haven't released the over under for this game yet but milwaukee is favored as a minus 165 but Anyways, I am liking the spot, though, for Zach Eflin. I think he can go over this number, especially with the value we have right now on prize picks. Um, you know, he's coming off a sixth strikeout game against the Angels, so I'm liking that a lot. He had 12 strikeouts against the Dodgers. Uh, he's got a pretty good matchup here against the Brewers, and I, the matchup is really, really good as well. As you guys can see, just how many strikeouts, you know, <laughs> pitchers have had against the Brewers. So 6, 5, 5, 10, 6, 8. I mean, that's, what, 5? No, 6 straight? Six straight games where a pitch where the pitcher has gone over four and a half strikeouts. Although it has been against some pretty good pitchers, I'm looking the spot though for sure for him to go ahead and go over his strikeouts. So I'm liking Zach Eflin a lot today. So Kyle Hendricks though, not a strikeout pitcher, is the one who went under. And then Smiley here, who is also not a strikeout pitcher, went under this. So I'm looking the spot though for Eflin to go ahead and go over his strikeouts versus the Milwaukee Brewers today. The next player prop I like here is going to go ahead and be Tyler over five and a half strikeouts here. So I like him over five and a half strikeouts. Let's go ahead and take a look into this one right here. So if you take more of a look into this one, he is a minus 156 at the time of this recording to go over five and a half strikeouts. So there's a lot of value right now over on the price fix board yet again. So six for 12 in this season. So he's six out of 12, 50% this season, although he does have a pretty favorable matchup here. He is also pitching at home where he is four for seven this season, hitting in four straight home games. So he's definitely been on a streak. He's definitely picked it up lately. He didn't have a great start to the season, but he's definitely picked it up since then. Arizona, though, ranks fifth in K percentage versus right-handed pitchers. So it should be a pretty easy matchup for Mal. So let's go ahead and take a look into this, though. So let's more of a look into it. But he's, he was also two for two versus Arizona last season. So right here it's 12 35 today so you know you got a little bit of time to lock this in make sure you guys have your post notifications on so you guys can get in before these lines move and you know before some of these games start because mlb is you know an afternoon sport so a lot of games going on uh, sometimes at night sometimes early in the morning so right here he's pitching at home uh lineup is not confirmed yet but the arizona diamondbacks is so matching up a lot of lefties against tyler here but and this is what his game log looks like here. So six strikeouts, eight, six, four, eight, six, 
So, like I said, he stepped it up recently. He's hit this in five out of his last six, right? With his only loss being against the Cle- versus the, um, the Cleveland Guardians, who are known as the toughest team to get strikeouts against. So, I'm loving the spot here. Uh, again, he didn't have a great start to the season, but he's definitely picked it up since then. So, I'm liking the spot. But this is what starting pitchers have done against the Diamondbacks, which it doesn't look the greatest, although they haven't really played any big strikeout pitchers. Like Mike Miner, Ashcraft, but then you have like a Hunter Green here who had eight strikeouts against them, who was a strikeout pitcher. Brubacher had three against them. Uh, Kyle Wright had five. Charlie Morton had five. So kind of just on pace right there. Uh, Gonsolin had seven. Tyler Anderson had six. He's usually around like a four and a half, five strikeout line. So I'm looking the spot though uh, for him against the Diamondbacks. So I like Tyler over five and a half strikeouts. Again, to make sure you guys go ahead and tail at your own risk. Always look into these more on your own before you know you go ahead and put your money on it. So that's uh, going to do it for me, though, man. Again, sign up for prize picks using my code DOMG. And make sure you guys take advantage of this free square. You guys have 35 hours from this recording to go ahead and lock this one in. So, again, make sure you guys sign up for prize picks. Take advantage of that. 100% deposit match up to $100 using my code DOMG. Available in most states and in Canada. And also check out the Patreon if you guys wish to go ahead and get access to all of my plays. So that's going to do it for me, though, man. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, boys.